Are you bored of the built-in VFX in Lightworks? Well, stick around. I think I can help you out today. Now, although I've used Lightworks for years and years, the thing that still annoys me is its lack of VFX or really good VFX that you can use inside your videos. Well, hopefully we can do something about that today. Let's get on with it. What I'm going to do is basically put in two little clips I've got from Pexels.com. First, I'm just going to switch off the audio because I don't want to worry about that today. The first scene is a flyover on a road. And before I do anything, I'm actually going to cut that clip short. As if you've watched my videos in the past, you know that the first and the last frame is nowhere to be putting a transition. Let's grab the aerial video of the coastline there. And again, I'm going to grab its front frames and just drag it in a number of frames. That gives us enough of an overlap between our first and second clip for our transitions not to flip out or go mad. Now we'll go to the VFX. Now we are used to seeing our blends and dissolves and all of these VFXs that we have in Lightworks. But what if we want to do something that's not on the list? Well, luckily for us on the Lightworks forum, and a link will be put in the description of this video, you can go and grab a number of effects that will work in Lightworks. There is a master file and I'll put a direct link to that. Download that file and you will get a huge number of VFX files. They're actually .fx files. And they work in Lightworks. Really easy to do. And once you've downloaded that file and unzipped it, you will find dozens, if not hundreds, of VFX that you can now apply in Lightworks. Now, before you fall off your chairs in excitement, I must warn you, not all of these are great VFXs, but there is enough here to at least add some spice to your video that you can't do with the built-in stuff in Lightworks. Let's go back to Lightworks and have a look at our scene again. So rather than doing the same old, same old that we're used to, let's now go into our VFX list over here underneath, right click, create a template from an FX file, navigate yourself to the place that you downloaded all of those. And here you will see that list of VFXs that we can now use in Lightworks. Let's start with something quite cool and maybe a little bit cheesy, but let's go for it anyway. I think I'm going to do a special effects transition. I'm going to go to the page roll, double click on that. A dialogue will come out to tell you that it's installed. It's really frustrating because you can't click anything so you end up having to click that X over there. And you can now see I've got the page roll sitting in my VFX list. Pick it up and put it onto your clip, overlapping both like that. And there we go. Rewind a good number of frames just to let it catch up with itself. Press play and let's see what happens. And that is a very cheesy early 2000s effect that those of you who had iLife on a on a Mac back in the day, you'll know that this was a very popular transition that you had built into iMovie. So that's our page roll. Now, when we have a look at it, and if I go frame by frame, you can see actually, this is a very well made transition. Granted, there's not many places you're going to use a page roll in your own videos. But as transitions go, this is a fairly well made one, really well executed, I think. Now, while we're here, let's just have a look at some of our parameters. All the VFXs will come with their own parameters, making sure that your playhead or your red line is inside the VFX, and then you'll see the parameters come up here. Let's just mess around a little bit and see what we can do. So we can increase the page radius. Oh, I see that. Yep, there you go. So we can really do a tight roll there. Let's have a look. Yeah, in fact, I think it looked way better when the page is a lot bigger. So let's make it like that. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's quite nice. That's a, a big page turn there. And all the other parameters, we're not going to waste time looking at them now. You can have a mess around and basically get it to look the way you want to. Now, as I said, a, a page roll transition is, you know, a gutsy move at the best of times in a YouTube video. Now I'm going to remove that transition just by undoing it a few times. Now let's try another VFX from a template. Annoyingly, you have to constantly find the folder that you downloaded to. It doesn't seem to remember that, so it can be a bit frustrating having to navigate there all the time. Let's go to, let's say, the art transitions. 
And let's go for a dry brush, something like that. Press OK or cancel that dialogue, I should say. Pick it up, put it in the overlap there. Rewind a few frames and let's just press play and see what happens. Oh, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Let's have a look. Let me just zoom in there a bit. Let's forward ourselves frame by frame and just see what happens. I really like that effect that I just saw. Let's have a look. So as the transition kicks in, Oh, I see. It's kind of like a, yeah, there's that little paintbrush effect going on there. That's pretty cool, actually. So it kind of melts in. Let's see if we can adjust the parameters there. Let's increase the stroke length like that. Not sure if the stroke angle really makes a difference. Key adjust and amount. Let's do a little bit more. Let's rewind a few frames and let's just see what that looks like in real time. That's really quite cool. I mean... Granted, again, it's a special transition that you wouldn't use on every video, but when needed, that's quite a dreamy transition from one to another scene. That's pretty cool. So again, as a warning, not all, well, quite a few of them are not great VFXs, but in this pack, you will find a couple of treasures. And one of the ones that I want to show you, which is something that I, for some reason, find time to use all the time. I'm going to mark an in and an out in that first clip. Let me just zoom out so you can see the context of where I am. That's there. I'm going to go back to the VFX and right click out and again, go to a VX file. And we'll just grab that folder again. And this time what I want to use is the video artifacts folder. Now, I'm a great fan of analog effects, whether it's on sound or video. So whether it's simulating tape or videotape, uh, I'm a sucker for that kind of VFX. So it has a VHS simulator in here. So we'll click on there and press OK. Get rid of the dialog. And there we have our VHS simulator. Let's pick that up. And we'll put it in just into our in and out like that. Let it do its thing and if we now rewind and watch the video, you will see we get that old videotape artifact where the tape is either being stretched or not being played properly. Now, an effect like this has a huge number of parameters you can see. So I won't really go through it all, but what I'll do is just mess around a little bit like this just to show you how much is possible on here. So if I rewind it now and press play. Now, those of us old enough to have used a videotape, you know, when you saw a picture like this on your TV, that tape was at the end of its life. There's no rescuing a tape when it does this. But something like this is absolutely brilliant, really well done effect. And it could really go well on a YouTube video let's say, in the credits or in the intro to something, or if you were on your YouTube video showing something from the past and you just put in a subtle effect, something like, just to simulate, you know, something's aged. And I think something subtle like that is really well done, like really well done. So hopefully in this video, you've seen that although Lightworks itself is quite limited in what it offers in VFX, the download that is in the description should give you a huge number of possibilities. And again, I have to repeat, not all, if not most of the effects are really that great, but there are some treasures in there that once you've got them, you should make sure you've got a copy of them safe somewhere in your computer, somewhere on the cloud, so that you never lose access to them because I don't know how long those effects are going to be hosted where they're hosted. Well, I hope you enjoy that video. Uh, we're really pushing Lightworks to its limits, aren't we? If I worry sometimes about my laptop overheating because of the amount I'm doing with VFXs and transitions and things like that in Lightworks. But overall, I'm really quite impressed with how much mileage we're getting out of this free software. And hopefully you can use some of those VFXs to spice up your videos and get them out of the ordinary and into something special. As always, leave a comment below. I really do try to read them all. I try to answer as many as I can. And I appreciate 
every comment that's left for me in my videos. So until next time, happy editing. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Think about clicking that like button, subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up, and maybe think about hitting the bell notifications if you want to be notified every time a new video comes up.